My computer is an HP Z210 workstation. It is a small form factor machine. When I got it, it was equipped with an Intel Core i5 second generation processor. This processor is quad core, with a clock speed of 3.3 GHz. The machine also came with 4 GB of RAM, and a 500 GB 3.5 inch hard drive. This was a pretty basic computer because some of the hardware in it was not sufficient. To add on that, booting into Windows took edges. Therefore, it was obvious that I was going to get into problems when trying to run my favorite applications. So, I had to do something. I removed the 3.5 inch hard drive and replaced it with 2.5 inch drives. The first one was a 128 GB solid state drive that I installed the operating system and a few applications. This solid state drive increased the speed of the computer tremendously. Booting into Windows was very fast, I was impressed. The second drive was a 1 terabyte hard drive for storage. The largest difference between 2.5 and 3.5 inch hard drives is their size. 2.5 inch hard drives are not just narrower, they're also shorter and thinner, which makes them popular for laptop computers, while desktop business computers typically use 3.5 inch drives. Even though 2.5 and 3.5 inch hard drives perform similarly, I figured that the one this computer came with had worn out. That is because these computers were released way back in the year 2012. For the RAM, I upgraded it to 14 GB. The maximum RAM this computer can handle is 16 GB. Finally, I got an AMD R5240 graphics card with 1 GB of memory. This is just a cheap low-end graphics card. It is in low profile which means it can fit in small form factor computers. It does simple tasks like monitor display and a little gaming. This graphics card is old because it was launched in November 1st, 2013. My monitor is an HP Elite E223, 21.5 inch, native resolution is 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hz, 